How you going lawnies? You're back with another lawn porn review video. Today I'm here with two awesome Ego trimmers to have a bit of a review and comparison of the two trimmers to look at the differences and if you should pay more for the 65 centimeter or if the 61 centimeter is perfectly fine for you. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we have the two trimmers sitting side by side to each other. Uh, so down the bottom, which is here, we have the 65 centimeter trimmer and up above we have the 61 centimeter trimmer. So first of all, let's talk about the similarities between the two. Now, obviously these are both Ego trimmers um, that run the Ego brushless motor. They both use the same battery pack as well um, and just tucks in the back there. They both have similar controls, not exactly the same, but a little bit similar. Uh, both have a secondary control um, up here on your left hand or right hand, whatever side you want, um, and back here on the trigger as well. So uh, both have very strong hardened hard steel cutting blades here and here, um, and also both have a very similar uh, little end bit here. Um, I quite like this uh, little end because I've used trimmers where this bolt is actually sitting up right at the end, and after a while they come loose and start to rattle around. Whereas these ones don't, it's actually set back quite a bit um, and there's no choice, no chance of it um, rattling around even if it does come a little bit loose. So that's really good. They both come with the covers as you see here, uh, both have little guards um, and like I said, secondary triggers. So the main difference that we start to see with the trimmers where the 65 centimeter sets itself apart is obviously in the look. Um, as you can see here, the motor um, is more pronounced and it's not in the shroud on the 65 centimeter trimmer it's because it's a slightly different motor. Uh, you've also got a, um, immediately obviously, is the little guide that sits here that the 65 centimeter has, um, just to help guide some of, if you're cutting some of those thicker branches right up close. Um, it also has an adjustable handle here, so it can actually shift um, from side to side. Um, whereas the other 61 centimeter trimmer doesn't have that at all. So you just pull that up and then you can pull it up. Uh, you've also got a variable speed on the 65, which the 61 uh, does not have. Um, some of the items that you can't see as much are the 65 centimeter has the 33 millimeter cutting capacity as compared to the 26 millimeter cutting capacity on the 61 centimeter trimmer. Um, it also has a um, slightly different strokes per minute as well. Um, so a couple of little differences in how they perform. So um, like I said, the triggers are very similar. So here you have almost like a palm kind of safety switch with another trigger under your finger. Over on this one, you've actually got a thumb switch and a th index finger switch here as well, um, as well as a secondary handle as well on both of them. Okay, so what we'll do now is um, we'll have a bit of a look at and use the trimmers a little bit. Uh, we're um, now at my mum's house, funnily enough, to actually do a bit of trimming. I've got the Ego trimmer sitting behind me with, with me right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a bit of a stuck into this bush that's sitting behind me. Um, let's see how they go. I'm going to chuck the camera around and uh, also put the GoPro on the trimmers. Let's have a bit of fun. Probably first up, start with the uh, smaller one perhaps, and then we'll get going onto the bigger one um, and see how we go. Let's get into it.
All right, so we've just got into using the first of the smaller of the trimmers, and I've got to say, I'm really impressed. Um, this bush only gets a trim up maybe once or twice a year whenever I can come down to help out my mum a bit. Um, I usually use the Ego for the top and some of the high bits, like the pole saw. Um, but definitely this little one that I thought may even struggle has just absolutely slayed through that. Even the end down the end, it's pretty thick and chunky, some of the branches, and it just took it off straight away. So um, I'm going to chuck on the big one now. We'll get the GoPro set up on that, and then um, we'll see how we go. I think it's a little bit lighter over this side, but we'll definitely just see if there's much of a difference we can tell. Maybe if I see if I can find a bit of a thicker branch or something that needs trimming up as well. Let's get into it. Alright everyone, so I have used both of the trimmers um, that I've got with me here today. I've got the big one sitting on my lap right now. So I guess my findings out of using them both uh, pretty quickly over this back hedge is that they are both very powerful machines. Um, I would probably be perfectly happy with a smaller one which I'll go through in a second again. Um, absolutely slayed it. Um, anything that I wanted to put through it just went absolutely no hassles at all. Um, definitely comparable if not a little bit better than the battery ones that I've used before. Um, I've got the big one sitting on my lap right now only because if I was to choose any machine I would probably choose this one. Not because it's more powerful, um, I think it's it definitely is, you can hear it when the motor starts up, um, you can hear it's got a, just a different sound to it, um, so it's definitely a different motor sitting between the two machines. Um, yes, this one was more powerful. It's a little bit heavier, but the thing that I really liked most about it was the adjustable handle sitting right here. I use this quite a bit um, throughout um, doing this hedge, and I think if you're going to be doing any straight hedges similar to what I've done now, it would be a really invaluable thing to have uh, on the machine. In saying that though, this is a more expensive machine, and we will pop up the uh, recommended retail prices on the video as well. So. It's not the be all and end all. So if you're a little bit more budget conscious and you've got a certain amount to spend on a hedger that you're looking at using, or maybe you only use it once or twice a year and you go, look, can I really justify the extra? This other smaller machine sitting right here is gonna be perfectly fine for it as well. Um, again, really simple and easy to use and nice and light. It just smashed through everything I could have asked for it. I tried to get on some of the bigger stuff um, in some of the um, shots with the GoPro, you'll definitely see that. And it handled that really well um, as well. So I think at the end of the day, if I was to choose any particular machine, which I can because I've got both of them here with me, I would choose the bigger one. But if budget came down to it, I wanted to save myself um, a few dollars and maybe put it towards 
uh, a different ego machine like you know a blower or something like that I would have absolutely zero hesitations in choosing the smaller of the two it's not little it's just smaller of the two machines because this slade through it it's nice and comfy it's quiet and it's easy to use uh, both of them were pretty well balanced as well with the two and a half amp hour battery sitting on the back so that's great as well if you're going to be using a machine uh, for a long period of time some really specialist hedging um, no qualms at all in going the bigger brother sitting down there and you maybe even want to get maybe a, you know the five seven and a half amp hour batteries um, I think they've been to a 10 now and chuck it on the backpack as well and plug it into the machine using the adapter and that way you would have hours of hedger bliss at your freedom uh, to go through and do anything commercially as well so I think that's my findings if budget comes down to it, this machine is going to slay through most things um, around the house. If you've got a bit of extra to spend and you want a few extra features like the adjustable speed which um, it has and the handle, then definitely go for the better machine. Otherwise, you'll be definitely happy with either of these. As usual, with all of our videos, if you like this video, give us a like and a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow and helps us create better content for everyone. Get your lawn on.